So I'd like to share a story with you. It's actually a obituary of a man named Robert Adolph Bohm. He was born in May 6, 1950 and lived until October 6 of 2024 of this year. Now my wife sent me this story and it was pretty it was pretty darn funny. So I figured that you would all enjoy it as well and I'd like to share it with you. So anyway, Robert Adolph Bohm in accordance with his lifelong dedication to his own personal brand of decorum, muttered his last unintelligible and likely unnecessary curse on October 6, 2024, shortly before tripping backward over some stupid motherfucking thing and hitting his head on the floor. Yes, this is an actual obituary. Robert was born in Winters, Texas to the late Walter Bohm and Betty Smith on May 6 of 1950, after which God immediately and thankfully broke the mold and attempted to cover up the evidence. Raised Catholic, Robert managed to get his wife Diane pregnant three times, fast enough to just barely miss getting drafted into the Vietnam War by fathering Michelle, John, and Charlotte between 1967 and 1972. Much later, with Robert possibly concerned about the brewing conflict in Grenada, Charles was born in 1983. This lack of military service was probably for the best, as when taking up shooting as a hobby in his later years, he managed to blow not one, but two holes in the dash of his own car on two separate occasions, which unfortunately did not even startle, let alone surprise his dear wife Diane, who was much accustomed to such happenings in his presence and may have actually been safer in the jungles of Vietnam the entire time. While the world was in conflict elsewhere, Robert made do by lean, learning to roof, maintain traffic signs with the city of Amarillo, and eventually becoming a semi-professional truck driver, not to be confused with a professional semi-truck driver. With peace on the horizon, Robert's attention somewhat counterintuitively drifted to weapons of war, spanning the historical and geographical spectrum from the Al At Atlal of 19,000 BC France to the Schambach of 1830s Africa to the Mosin Nagant of M1891 of World War II era Soviet Union. <clears throat> so many examples of these mainstream hobbyist items litter his small Clarendon, Texas apartment that one of them may very well have been the item referenced in his aforementioned eloquent final epitaph. A man of many interests, Robert was not to be entranced by or entranced by historical weapons alone, but also had a penchant for fashion frequently seen about town wearing the latest trend in homemade leather moccasins, a wide collection of unconventional hats, and boldly mismatched shirts and pants. Robert also kept a wide selection of harmonicas on hand, not to play personally, but to prompt his beloved dogs to howl continuously at odd hours of the night to entertain his many neighbors and occasionally to give his many, many, many grandchildren and great-grandchildren to play loudly during long road trips with their parents. Earlier this year in February, God finally showed mercy upon Diane, getting her the hell out of there for some well-earned peace and quiet. Without Diane to gleefully entertain, Robert shifted his creative focus to the entertainment of you, the fine townspeople of Clarendon, Texas. Over the last eight months, if you have not met Robert or seen his roadshow yet, you probably would have soon. We have all done our best to enjoy slash weather Robert's antics up to this point, but he is God's problem now. Robert's farewell tour will be held Monday, October 14th at 10 a.m. at Memorial Park Funeral Home 6969 East Interstate 40 Highway, Amarillo, Texas 79118. The family encourages you to dust off whatever outdated or inappropriate combination of clothing you have available to attend. A tip jar will be available in the front. Flowers are also acceptable. And there's the GoFundMe that the family's raising money for him. This is quite possibly one of the most interesting obituaries I've ever read. And I figured that a lot of you out there would probably feel the same way, which is why I'm here sharing it with you now. If you want to donate to Robert, I will leave the GoFundMe in the link in the description.